Hello chess lovers, I have another fantastic game for you played by Austrian chess master Karl Schlechter. His opponent is a chess player named Herzfeld and the game was played in 1893 in Vienna. Karl Schlechter started with e4 and e5 by Herzfeld. Knight c3, white goes for Vienna game and after knight f6, white is playing f4 going for delayed king's gambit. d5, d3, bishop b4, f takes e5 and a strong response by Herzfeld. Knight takes e4, white is capturing on e4 and now the queen jumps to h4 square giving a check. King e2. Bishop takes c3 getting rid of the knight which was protecting the e4 pawn. B takes c3 and now this bishop is also joining the attack. Bishop g4 check. Knight f3. D takes e4. Intensifying the pressure on f3. And a very cunning move by Schlechter. Queen d4. Now look if e takes f3 check then white can capture with a pawn and the bishop is pinned and white is going to win a piece. That's why after queen d4 black played bishop h5. King e3. Now already you can't capture on f3 with a pawn because the queen is hanging. Black captures on f3 with a bishop. G takes f3. Queen e1 check. King f4. And knight c6. Actually this is already losing. Black could easily draw the game by giving a perpetual check. But black was definitely playing for a win and played knight c6. Now white is capturing on e4. Queen takes c3. The rook on a1 is hanging but white is counter-attacking and is playing bishop b5. Black castled queen side. Well, if a move like queen takes a1, then white can capture on c6 with a check. If king d8, then rook d1 check, king c8, bishop takes b7 check, king b8, queen b4, and black is losing. Soon black king will get checkmated. Let's go back after bishop b5. That's why black is castling queen side. But anyways, white is capturing on c6. But now this black rook is jumping to d4 square, pinning the queen. But this dying queen has still strength to support this bishop. And the bishop is capturing on b7, giving a check. King b8, rook b1 creating some dangerous mating threats. Black captures on e4 with a check, but here comes bishop takes e4, giving a discovered check. King c8 and rook d1. Actually white missed an easy checkmate. White could play bishop f5 check. If king d8 then rook d1 check. If king e7 then rook d7 check followed by rook b8 checkmate. But Schlechter played rook d1. Now comes g5 check, king g3. Well, playing king takes g5 is also playable. If queen takes e5 check, then bishop f5 check and again black is losing. Let's go back. After g5 check, we see king g3, queen takes e5 check, king g2 and now white king is in safety. Queen a5, bishop b7 check, king b8, bishop c6 check, king c8, bishop d7 check, king d8, and rook b5. Again, white could easily checkmate black king by playing bishop f5. If king e7, then bishop takes g5 check, king f8, bishop f6. If rook g8 check, then bishop g4, and black is in trouble. There are several dangerous mating threats. Let's go back, but after bishop d7 check king d8, white played rook b5, both attacking the queen and also now the pawn on g5 is hanging. Queen c3, here comes bishop takes g5 check, f6, bishop f5 discovered check, king e8, rook b8 check, king f7 and rook d7 checkmate. What a game! Both players were just playing an amazing chess and finally Karl Schlechter is managing to checkmate his opponent. Your comments and questions please, I hope that you liked this amazing game. Good luck!